last set of question. Okay, fine, very much now. Uh, I've already given this one class here. So I have using an app sandwich on me. Um, but this is the second time round, right? and I probably would only hit it twice, and I probably wouldn't need it the third time round. Right? So just push it in, guys. Make sure if there's any holes you get, fill them in a little bit. And you'll see it's getting a line here, but then you can shallow that up and take that line away and fill in any new holes that are still there. Probably doesn't look like it's having a great effect, but if you're doing a wide angle, it's, it definitely does speed you up on the hole. Just fill in any wee bits, you can have a wee bit of fat something and just toss them on in. So, I'll just quickly to show. So then you can tap that in. On both sides, so we down and catch that and then so the base a lot near. You can see the angles nearly 100% there and I won't actually use it the third time, I just free hand up the child and toss it loose. So that's pretty much how I use that. I'll probably touch on that again in the future. But I hope that helps. Push it in, guys. Make sure if there's any holes you get, fill them in a little bit. And you'll see it's getting a line here, but then you can shallow that up and take that line away and fill in any new holes that are still there. Probably doesn't look like it's having a great effect, but if you're doing a wide angle, it's guys welcome back uh, just thought I would mention the Ragni channels I've been basically using for the last month or so um, stainless steel so I won't rust and gives you a good good finish as well because they don't rust it doesn't drag this here one's a wee external one just a wee quick demo on that but um, this is the internal one this would be the one I would use the most guys, um, especially in these timber frame houses. Um, Tend to find we're doing a few wet angles just to try and speed things up. Um, but yeah, the exterior one, the outside corner, I've used it actually a wee bit on sand cement, and they also work very good on sand cement. But I think it's the, the round edges on them that make them stand out from the rest of the angle channels. Um, you can see there is stainless steel but um, yeah the, the round edges seem to stop it digging in to the corners are coming down so there's less chance of you catching your scrim tape and pulling the scrim tape off or just digging in so guys welcome back um, just thought I would mention the Ragni channels I've been basically using for the last month or so. Um, stainless steel, so I won't rust. And gives you a good good finish as well. Because they don't rust, it doesn't drag. This here one's a wee external one, just a wee quick demo on that. But um, this is the internal one. This would be the one I would use the most, guys. Um, especially in these timber frame houses. Um, tend to find we're doing a few wet angles just to try and speed things up. Um, but yeah, the exterior one, the outside corner, I've used it 
actually a wee bit on top cement and they, they also work very good on top cement but I think it's the, the round edges on them that make them stand out from the rest of the angle channels um, you can see there's still the steel but um, yeah the, the round edges seem to stop it digging in to the corners you're coming down so there's less chance of you catching your scrim tape and pulling the scrim tape off or just digging in
Hello guys and welcome back. Um, this job here I'm going to match the original. The bricks at the bottom and the dash at the top. I'm going to do that with wet dash at the top and false bricks at the bottom made out of render. So yeah, I'm not going to talk the whole way through the job guys. I'm just going to let it play out and let us enjoy it. Watch it for yourselves and just be quick run round of the last part of this job which has been done and as you can see I'm going to match that on the newer part just also think that the guys done a great job on them steps so they they're some of the concrete done there and they're very tidy and sharp Still obviously he has a bit of groundwork to do but yeah so guys starting to uh, have it all scratched and I'm going to start the rest of the, the work here so I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video guys and um, if you've enjoyed it hit the like button if you haven't subscribed and want to watch more videos please subscribe
So, I've just been talking away there, guys, um, to the microphone that wasn't actually on. Um, so, it's going good, Craig, buddy. Thanks for asking. Um, and I agree, the Red Knight Corner Trials, the MA Plaster, are fantastic. Um, and like I was saying there, uh, definitely upload that video, buddy. Um, I'd love to see that. Um, definitely. Um, I haven't used any spraying machines myself for plastering. <coughs> Pardon me, my, my throat's a wee bit raw. But, yeah, I'm going to have to get onto your channel, buddy, here. Hang on, let me second. Missy Super Boy, or Super Meat Boy. Um, but like I was saying earlier to myself basically was that I have a, a wet dash video coming up just need to get it sort of more, more edited I'm going to do it also as a live stream and also as a hard to video I'll chop it all up and make it a wee bit interesting and hopefully very informative because like I said in the title now it's just par I am. Um, yeah, I dropped the link up above. I'm not sure everybody can see it, but that's Skylark's render. And I'm going to try and replicate that on some steps I'm going to do. And I've got some wet dash videos coming up similar to this one. And what I'm doing on the base here, which is further on in the video, um, is. I'm making it look like bricks and um, the job I'm going to do with Skylark Stone also I'm going to try and replicate some red brick around the step so it looks like it's all been built with the house originally so it should be a very interesting video and like I was saying yesterday I'm going to ask everybody for their advice on sort of another B job <coughs> of my, which I might also do Skylark render not a hundred percent sure. It'll be a completely different texture to these bricks because these bricks were quite smooth um, and brown originally. Uh, the guy's going to paint the whole house anyway. Um, but obviously, the bricks at the bottom were painted brown so they were smooth originally. So, keeping them just not cement smooth was good. Where these next one I'm going to replicate are textured. So, I have the replicate texture. I'm also going to try and replicate the colour as the jail being going to be painted so I gotta I really want to just sort of go overboard and try and make it look it's very original like it's falling right in
Cheers, buddy. Um, this is probably one of my, my favourite sort of videos that I have. Um, the Brick Effect Render one. I sort of enjoy doing it. Sometimes when you're doing sort of detailed jobs, you really do enjoy them. So if you can hear me guys let me know because I'm not sure, I sort of I think I muddled up what it was doing with the sound and the footage and stuff. Um, pretty sure you can hear me, you can see the mic bar moving up and down. So the body of mine's not too well, so I hope hoping that he gets better and isn't sick for much longer. Actually two bodies, not too well, so hopefully they they get a quick recovery. So if everybody can think about that. Sound buddy, glad glad to hear me. I talked about the sort of start of this for a long time. Um I actually talked about what subscribers were saying to me as well. Um, sort of subscribers I had for a while. Basically, one was saying that I should do books on Plastron. And another couple were telling me I should get a, a Patriot, a Patreon, um, hooked up to the channel. I'm not sure it will be any help to the channel. Um, may, may do it in the future. Um, Obviously, a book could possibly do a book in the future. Um, why not? But Patreon, I'm not sure it'll help or hinder the channel. Any, I don't know. Um, but knowledge in this is power. Um, and I happily do these videos in the hope that some apprentices and DIYers um, get a wee bit ahead of the game. Um, even with or even for the tools. You know, if people are thinking about buying tools. Um, then at least they can see them being used here first um, whether or not to go ahead and just buy the tools so that, that sort of way um, what's the money like up here where, uh, you must be from where you, whereabouts are you from buddy obviously more south than I am in Ireland but you Dublin, if you're Dublin, I think there's better money in Dublin. Um, that way. I'll put on the coins next. Let me see. Where is the money? So I need need to know. Well, the money up here, I can't complain about money. Um, it's obviously I price my own work, so I can't complain about my own prices. I'm very good at pricing. Um, don't hear anybody say I'm too dear. And obviously, you should do a job to, you know, what suits you, what suits... You, know, you can't work for free, like I was saying. Um, in a previous live stream that obviously somebody was saying that I should have did more plastering the whole of the wall but obviously you can't like you know you can't buy materials and go ahead and use the materials and go ahead and do what the customer doesn't want you to do um, that way monster so what you do here yeah well um, monster. Yeah, is that 120 euro then? I think 120 sterling would maybe be a bit, bit more. Um, here, so 
you may be able to make a bit more here, but by the time you travel and put yourself up, obviously it's not worth it. You're better working closer to home. I personally try to work within a 30 minute radius myself. Closer the better. But yeah, it's not a bad range to be pulling in by. Definitely. What um, trial do you use? MS MCC Super Meat Boy. What kind of trial are you using tools? What's the pump? You're, is it a refiner pump that you're using? I know they're doing them. You spray and skin, you spray and render. This is the tenant job that I gotta get done too now. Ceiling's all done. Also, that's right enough. I'm talking about uploading my Dyson job. I need to upload this hard skin ceiling job. I'm so hard I'm at about this. And also, show off the Refina 3. Refina Superflex 3 being used on this one. Um, here Dublin doing you get two hundred in Dublin a day. I bought Karen. Yeah, that's a beast, but I just whacked in the Google there. Um, yeah, I get a wee video uploaded, man. Why not? I'd support you all the way, my friend. Nila Superflex. Yeah, I got the Ox Superflex. I think they're, they're cousins. They have two shells. I think they're pretty much twins. Um, what's up, Jordy Hill, buddy? Um, the new multi finish. Is it a different colour? Is it a different bag, like? The multi finish here is still in orange bags, still the same, but may not have changed here just yet. I'm gonna have to look, look that up now, too. Hmm. Yeah, they seem to have changed the bag. It's the first I've seen of that bag there. Just just looked up multi finisher, it seems to be has like a big square orange jump picture on the front now without the Hawk and Trial. I'm not sure if that's a newer newer one. I'm not sure. It's the first first I've heard that it's changed. because um, we use Carlite here as well. Uh, 
a bronze canisters here. Stack your stuff. God, that actually sounds a lot nastier to work with, Julie. Just the way you're explaining that there, it's hanging back, it's stickier. It sounds like a like a bonding almost. <laughs> hanging for longer, only as thistle bonding does set quick compared to carlite bonding. So uh me C C and uh, Super Meat Boy. What what kind of skim are you spraying on with the uh, nabber? It's gotta be Noff or Noff spelled something like that there. You know. Okay, Knoff or something. I don't know people call it Knoff, but I think it's spelled, it's, it's just Noff. It's like a German, I think it's Noff. Not sure, is that the one you're using? But, yeah, actually, I skimmed this. We've seen it above me here in with multi and it came in fine but again that's an older bag so I'm not sure any other skin I've been using it's been blue carly bags that sets in about an hour oh. hate the way they change things slightly even the, the, the bag can be annoying changing the in the bag all right I'm gonna pull on some coin stones there Keep singing the shark song, guys. And oh, flip me, it's stuck in my head. It's not a bad song. I'm not sure if any of you have heard the shark do do song. Um, hard coat, uh, being Q stuff. Uh, I haven't actually used used it. Hard coat. Um, I still prefer salt and cement. To rock hard coat. Seen being sure there. I was talking about that in the live stream actually not that long ago, but they, they had it. Um, I, it wasn't actually that dear. But again, it may have been good for certain jobs. You could get them skimmed out in a day. Um, so it's a good option. Be a good option to have. How hard is it compared to Sun Cement though for it to be called hard coke?
yeah, I, I remember when I when I was when I and I was in pack, and everybody was talking about Marshall Town was the best child to get, and basically, I don't think you had Rafaina and Neela and Ox. Um, I don't even think the M companies probably existed back then, um, and if they did, they certainly weren't big. Um, so everybody was, yeah. You know, the only trial was about was Marshall Town. Sorry, I'm on a rack just did 12 hours. Um, but anyhow, I remember good old John said Tezak was the trial to get, that it was, they were the best trials, but I think they slipped up. But now I think Tezak are coming back. Um, so it's just when you said Ragnar, it just pop, popped into my head that he had said Tezak back then. And I think Tezak's starting to make a bit of a comeback. Um, Ragnar, um, I, I have a stainless steel Ragnar, but I've got a slight twist in it. I can't seem to just get it back out. With Marshalltown and any ones with rivets, I can seem to get the, the wee kinks back out, but the Ragnar is struggling. Um, it's not a massive kink, but it's it's enough that I can slightly feel it. It sounds stupid like. Um, doesn't even really leave many lines or waves, but I can just feel it when I'm coating. It's, it's annoying me. Um, but mostly using the refiner stainless steel. That's the main channel I put my hand to. Like I said earlier in the other video, that it's comfortable. It, it works. It hasn't let me down. Um, it's well broken for skin. But I do use my Ragnar trials for floating still. Um, need to get another backup trial. I have Tyzak, Spear and Tracks and Tyzak one, broke in ready, and an Axe one. Steel Steel both broke in and ready for skim as well, but um, I don't know why I just keep on going to the refinable one. So I obviously favour it. So. Yeah, the hard wall could be slow, uh, but it's got to set quicker than sand and cement, I suppose. Uh, it must be lighter to use hard wall as well. To be honest, I haven't actually put it to a wall, so it'd be tough for me to really make a big call on it. Uh, but you're using the putts, the putts spare, looks good. But yeah, probably definitely get that video uploaded of that. Um, I, wa I want to see your machine in action. But yeah, I'll definitely have a video uploaded this Sunday. Um, and anybody watching the live stream later on, if you've got that far, this far in the live stream. Um, and everybody in here, you just can let me know, because I'm going to have to nip off soon. Um, but basically, what do you think of the Patreon? Will it benefit our channel here, any? Um, and what were you thinking about a book? Um, both subscriber suggestions over the years. Um, so... Just want to know what, what everybody thinks. But yeah, probably definitely definitely get that up. Um if you do upload it, um drop me a link in any video basically. I try my very best to reply to all comments. Um obviously this week I'm doing twelve hour shifts. I did twelve hour shifts last week, Monday to Friday, so I don't get on the computer as much. Um when I get home and do, I spend a bit of time with my family. Um, I get on these wee live streams when the baby's asleep, so it's just a wee bit of catch up time on YouTube basically. Um, sometimes check the, the comments when the baby's dancing the baby shark. <laughs>
So, yeah, appreciate all the support, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to get myself rested up here. Um, I'll do another live stream, guys. Um, if you just want to drop comments and other videos, suggestions, videos you want to see, methods, anything I, I may be able to do, yeah, I'll do it. Um, I don't mind sharing my tips and tricks um, my knowledge I happily give it to free um, Shannon Airport that sounds like a massive project but I, no wonder you're using the pump if you're working on the airport definitely there's got to be some big big walls or I think um, but let me know what you think about the Patreon or Patriot what, it, what it's called linking it to the channel and a book, what would you just want to hear in a book, what would you just want to read in a book, um, especially for the apprentices and the DIYers, what what would be good for a book, for plastering. Um, nice one, Jory. Um, yeah, the rag nice. The one rag now, like I said, that the grey handle ones just got the slight wee twist in it. Um, but it's a stainless steel, like you say as well. Um, I might get a, I might try and get a carbon one. Um, and the, the last carbon one I had was a brown handle Marshall Town, and I dropped the plank on it, and that was it actually bent like a banana and cracked through the metal so there was absolutely no saving it, there was no cutting it down from for a small sort of margin tool or anything. It was just goosed. Um that way. But yeah guys I'm gonna scoot you off and get some rest here. I appreciate all the feedback and the chat. Um, and like I said, if you get time on another video or on this video again later on, um drop me in comments and stuff I'll get back to you and any tips and tricks that you think I may be able to help you out with let me know